In this tutorial, it is assumed that the switcher being installed is cabled up correctly and is powered up. The tutorial will explain the cabling and network requirements for both Cayenne and Carrera systems. The Cayenne and Carrera systems differ in control panel features, some minor menu differences, and which options are installed. This drawing shows a Cayenne system with an 8-rack unit frame, a 4 mix effects or ME panel with a panel control unit, some menus, one remote auxiliary or aux panel, and a clip store connected. The Cayenne panel is connected to the panel control unit, referred to as the PCU, via individual cables as indicated by the green arrows, one for each stripe. A stripe is a panel module tray consisting of a source module, transition module, and a local EMEM module, and in some cases an additional module. The AUX bus module is also a stripe. The menu has a different dedicated cable, also connected to the PCU that supplies power and control for the touchscreen display and soft knobs. The PCU has a built-in gigabit Ethernet switch that connects to the frame and to any additional Ethernet devices such as additional menu computers. The menu data is carried over the facility slash menu LAN connection. A separate dedicated panel LAN cable is connected from the PCU to the frame for panel communications from the stripes. This keeps the facility LAN data traffic and panel data traffic isolated. There are a total of four Ethernet connections on the rear of the frame that can be used for additional devices. This includes the two dedicated Ethernet LAN connections to the PCU. Additional connections to the frame include the optional clip store and any additional menu or configuration PCs and any remote aux panels. Additional gigabit Ethernet switches can be added to the system as required to expand the number of external connections. The clip store and the two panel end connections must be direct connections to the frame. If these frame connections need to be extended, contact Grass Valley Customer Support prior to installation. This drawing shows a Carrera switcher system drawing. The main differences are the panel itself and a separate menu PC. There is no PCU. The optional menu PC is a standalone PC that is connected to the menu display and to the facility LAN. The menu PC obtains power from the Carrera panel, as does the optional Carrera auxiliary panel. The menu display obtains its power from a separate 48 volt brick type power supply. The Cayenne and Carrera systems are set up to use default IP addresses in the factory. If the system is installed with these IP addresses, all items should connect and operate without the need for further changes. If for some reason menus or panels do not connect, or if different IP addresses are required, they can be checked or changed as follows. First, we'll check or set the frame IP address numbers. If the frame IP is known, it can be changed by connecting into the frame using a web browser to its IP address. Once connected to the frame, select the frame network addresses page where the facility LAN IP numbers can be changed if required. Use the appropriate facility LAN, subnet mask, and gateway addresses for your system. The image store LAN IP address is typically set at one more than the frame's IP address. When changes have been made, click the Save New Settings button and reboot the frame. 
If the frame IP number is not known, there are two options to set the IP. One, use the netconfig tool supplied with the system software to connect to the Cayenne frame and use set IP to be able to directly edit the frame IP numbers. Or two, set the frame boot switch number two to on and reboot the frame. This switch is found on the frame processor board. This will set the frame temporarily to the default IP number so the web browser can connect and the IP numbers set as desired. The default IP number for the frame is 192.168.0.170. Setting the panel IP numbers. As with the frame, if the IP number of the PCU or a Carrera panel is known, a web browser can be used to connect to the panel and the IP numbers set from the network settings page. Make sure the correct frame IP number is also set in the panel so it knows how to communicate to the frame. Pressing apply will save the settings in the panel PCU and reset the panel. If the panel IP number is not known, it can be set using netconfig as shown for the frame or it can be set from the panel. For the Cayenne panel, use the multifunction module and from the home page, select the panel button, then the IP button and enter the numbers required for the system. Set the IP numbers for the frame, panel and panel subnet mask and gateway first. Then with the panel IP selected, press save and select yes to reboot the PC. On the Carrera panel, select any EMEM module, menu, page, and then IP address and choose which IP is going to be changed. Select change and enter the required number then press store. Repeat for all IP numbers that need to be changed. The panel default IP numbers are 192.168.0.173. Finally, press panel boot to reboot the panel. Setting menu IP numbers. The menu PC IP numbers are set under Microsoft Windows. Windows XP is used by Cayenne and Windows 7 is used by Carrera. To set the menu PC IP address with Windows XP, right click on My Network Places and choose Properties. Right click the correct local network adapter and select Properties. Select the line Internet Protocol or TCP IP and then Properties. Set the IP number, subnet mask, and gateway for the correct values for your system and close all of the windows. To set the menu PC IP address with Windows 7, select Start, choose Control Panel, select Network and Sharing, then Adapter Settings. Right click the local area connection and choose Properties. Select the line Internet Protocol V4 and open properties. Set the menu IP number, subnet mask, and gateway for the correct values for your system and close all the windows. The menu default IP address is 192.168.0.175. Cayenne and Carrera do not use automatic addressing through DHCP. If any panel or menu IP numbers are changed, then the frame node list will also need to be changed. The node list is set from the Cayenne menu, but the information is stored in the frame. Open the GV switcher menu, and once open, select the Engineering or ENG Setup menu and the Status submenu if not already selected. Menu navigation always starts from the primary menu buttons on the bottom row. 
Above this row is the submenu, which shows the secondary menu choices available for the chosen primary menu. The primary menu and the selected secondary menus are always visible. A history bar on the left shows the current menu at the top and the last used menu below that. Additional menus will appear here as menu navigation proceeds. Alternatively, a favorites menu bar can be selected where an operator can group useful menus in any of 10 pages for customized access. To add a menu to the favorites, first choose the desired menu, press learn, and choose the menu buttons to be used to recall this menu. At this time, make sure that the bottom switcher button, SWR, is selected to be able to view all switcher menus. The EDPM and its associated menus have a brown background color. This is an optional feature that is not discussed in this section. If the status menu is blank, or if the error message bar at the top of the menu screen shows no frame com, the menu is not communicating with the frame. Select the node settings submenu and then the frame suite nodes and ID tab. Enter the frame IP address if it is not correct and the associated panel IP address if applicable. The frame name and panel names can be used to identify this system if the facility has multiple systems. If any IP numbers were changed, the menu will need to be restarted from the caution message or by going to the status page and selecting Restart Menu. Once the menu restarts, verify that the menu is now communicating with the frame by observing the status page. For menus and panels to communicate, they must be listed in the nodes list and assigned to a suite. Select the Engineering Setup, Nodes Setting Menu, and the Control Surfaces tab and enter the node name and IP numbers for all menus and panels in the system. Leave the nodes in Suite 1, Surface A for now. This will be covered in another tutorial. For Cayenne systems, the PCU configuration should also be checked. This is not required for Carrera systems. Select the Engineering Setup, Nodes Setting menu, and the PCU Configuration tab. Enter the prime IP address for the PCU panel processor in this system. The default IP address is 192.168.0.173. Select Connect to PCU. A message indicating that it is connecting will appear in the status bar. A menu will read the current PCU information from the PCU memory. The display will depend on the number and size of panels, i.e. number of stripes being used. A 4ME panel has 5 stripes. A 3ME panel has 4 stripes and a 2ME panel has 3 stripes. For a 4ME panel, the first port should be connected to the top ME stripe of the main panel, the second stripe to the second port, and so on. The AUX stripe is connected to port 5. In this example, a second 2ME panel is connected to the last three ports, 6, 7, and 8, and assigned the ALT IP number of 192.168.0. 178. Note that the second panel's IP number is set in the PCU configuration and not in the panel. The second panel will display the prime IP number in the multifunction module, not the alt IP number. Don't forget to add the second panel to the node list in the control surfaces tab using the alt IP address. This completes the Cayenne and Carrera startup tutorial.